Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So we're back with our first impressions episode, and today we are going to do a uh, straight Virginia, mostly a red Virginia, and this is from Low Country, which we all know is smokingpipes.com's brick and mortar. That's their mm -hmm. brick and mortar. So this is their blend. Yeah. Uh, and it's made by Cornell and Deal, and this is called Edisto. And Edisto is... Um, Made by, like we said, Cornell and Deal, straight Virginia. Uh, it says it has no flavorings. It's a flake cut, uh, and it comes in two ounce tins. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cur it's currently available. You can get it through SmokingPipes.com. Strength on this is medium. Uh, the taste on this is a moderate, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and op crack open this uh, tin. But uh, Nathan, go ahead and open that tin up. And while while we're doing that, I want to read to you a little bit about this line that they have. First of all, all of their uh, all of the Low Country tinned uh, tobaccos are named after some sort of waterway in South Carolina. Really? Yes, that's that's, that's what all of them are. And so Adisto is. A big old river that's that's in uh, <laughs> that, that's that's in uh, South Carolina, and on the tin you can find this description. It says among the longest free flowing black water rivers in America, the Adisto is the largest river system completely contained within South Carolina. Framed by ancient oaks draped in Spanish moss and historic Tupelo cypress trees. Its gentle, steady current meanders over 250 miles to its mouth at picturesque Adisto Beach, reflecting the easygoing life of those who call it Shore's home. Low Country's Adisto pays tribute to the local sanctuary with a relaxing blend of naturally sweet red Virginias pressed and sliced into delicate flakes for the perfect all day, every day pipe tobacco so uh and as you're doing that nathan i'm going to talk a little bit about the artwork on here so basically uh the tin is really kind of a uh nice picturesque kind of uh background on it, it of course it says low you country is, Edisto by cornell and deal uh but it's got uh, a picture of a beach on it and uh, also has some dolphins jumping in the background. I'll give you a, a show at what this looks like. There's the dolphins. So the, the tin art on it is, is interesting. Anyway, so we'll come back to you when we get our pipes loaded real quick. Nathan, what are you smoking yours in today? I am smoking it out of an escorty business. Okay, so that's your that's your standard pipe over here at the house, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. This is my go-to over here. <laughs> well, I am smoking it today out of a Trey Rice acorn that he made for me. Um, that's the one he used the... Uh, is that the old... Yes, that's my old baton handle. Yeah. And so he added that baton handle to my... Uh, to my uh, uh, stem work here that's really a nice addition kind of a sentimental piece for me you know yeah, it's got that Trey Rice flare with a little scoop up yeah, on and the, stem. the blasting on it's just awesome yeah, he did I, I really it. well so all right so let's go ahead and light up and see what we got here As as I'm lighting this, uh, we we do need to talk about the uh, the uh, tin note. So, what are you getting out of out of this tin note, Nathan? Oh man! Right when I opened the tin, Th that's why I love Red Virginia so much. The way they are, it's just a very mature scent. Uh, it's got it's got that tobacco smell. Very very bright but at the same time yeah it's just a very bright kind of orangey flavor to it but not abrasive not like in your face very when you say orangey down. are you saying orange as in the fruit or yes yeah like like the zest like i can okay. smell like 
maybe not orangey as much as I am a citrus zest that I can kind of smell in it. And that's just why I love Red Virginias, man. They are my go-to. But you Them know, and Bright Virginias are just my favorite. When I was smel smelling this, I didn't get so much... You know, you, you taste a lot of these Red Virginias that we've been tasting uh, before. And it doesn't have that really tangy mm -mm. tartness to it. It has... I get more of a sweet hay out of this. A grassy hay sweetness bready with maybe yeah with some of that citrus smell in it i don't get i don't get a real heavy presence of reds in there like i would from uh what's, yeah, a, what's a red or uh, uh like a Sutliff crumble cake or yeah. something like that you Heinrichs know has a couple reds that are yeah. really really just right there it's in not your face. pungent yeah, it's 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 really mellow. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting tin note on that one for for it being predominantly a red. Uh, you know, there are also in this one some mahogany, some bright oranges, um, and I'm I'm wondering how what the ratio is. You know, because I'm looking at at what we've got left over, and it looks very even to me. Yeah, it looks even between. The the light colored Virginias and the dark colored Virginias in here, so that's that may be uh, why we're getting a little more of that that kind of grassiness and hay and stuff like that, huh? You know, I'm also noticing the the cut here. It says it's a flake, but you know what? To me, it looks more like a broken flake. I think it. So that is one thing. When I first pulled it out, that first top layer had some solid flake bits to it but once you get into the meat of the canister because you know how they push it in there yeah um c and d always does this with with some of their stuff and i know this isn't a c and d only product but it's their blend and every time you always pull it out you get pulled apart flake bits like that yeah and i guess you could f smoke them whole like that but i always when they're broken apart that much just finish the job. finish it yeah 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 so we rubbed this out we did not give it any dry time at all we rubbed it out stuffed it in our pipes to be go. honest i don't think it needs it it, it came it, it feels pretty pretty good maybe leave it out for five minutes yeah i wouldn't leave it out for the normal dry time and th maybe this is one of the reasons why they say it's a good everyday all day smoke it's just ready to go it's ready to go yeah it's not really that moist it's mm -hmm. it's it's uh yeah, it's it's ready to go. I like that. All right, well, let's talk about the taste a little bit. We talked about the tin note. Did you have anything you wanted to add about the tin note on this one? No. Tin note was very inviting. I liked the way it was. Yeah. Uh, well, I, and I'm a Virginia lover, so there is a little bit of biasness to this on my side anyway. Yeah, well, it it did not taste like a tip. I mean, it smelled like a typical red to me. It, ta it smells more like a... Uh, uh, a regular Virginia rather than a dark red Virginia. Man, that's why it seems so yeah. inviting. All right, let's talk about the taste. Mm. I like this one a lot. I'm telling you, it's... I don't know how to say it, except it's playing in layers on my tongue. Uh huh. I get some of... a little bit of those heavy flavors on the tip of my tongue. A little bit of those... I taste Foodies more of the reds on the front of yeah. my on the front of my tongue. And then there's those little floral citrusy bites that are right there along the sides that kind of make me salivate a bit and enjoy it and just keep smoking, keep smoking. Yeah. It's dancing on my tongue. I like it. Well, I definitely taste the reds more here than I did mm -hmm. smell them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm getting a lot of uh, more of that dark fruit kind of a a, a taste. Um there's a slight sweetness, a slight tanginess. There's a little bit of spice going on. Yeah, in this, a little in this as well. Um, it, it's uh, it's got some citrus. It's earthy. It's grassy. Uh, I, I get those bread notes that I that I got in the tin yep. as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different flavors going on with this. Um, that really is pretty surprising especially at the price point that this comes in mm -hmm. because it's not a real expensive uh, tin of tobacco 
uh, it's it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, yeah. It's I think it's a little cheaper than what C and D normally sells their stuff at. About two bucks a tin cheaper, something yeah. like that. Yeah, so. but it's to me it's every bit as good as any of, of so the too. Virginias it's I've really, tasted. It's really good from from C and D. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, take apart the small batch stuff like the the Carolina Red Flake and stuff like that, um, which by the way I've read a lot of reviews on this and a lot of people are comparing this to that small batch red Carolina red flake um, oh man there's so I, much more complexity I to that think one this now. I think this is pushing it a little bit yeah so. yeah this is this has more of a uh, of a bright and orange Virginia flavor than those Carolina Reds do but it's still pretty good yeah does Jeremy Reeves work with the warped stuff as well? Mm -hmm. Because it has a little bit of hints that are reminding me some of that brand, their their Red Hunt. Some of the flavors in there are are hitting my tongue like that Red Hunt does, where it's just kind of like those that some of those notes are hitting here and here and here and here yeah. and here all over the place, and it's it's kind of doing the same thing. So that's where I'm kind of. Shoot, I like this one. Now, the only reason I probably could pull that out of my hat like that is because I smoke the Red Hunt quite often. Yeah, that's a good vapor. Yeah. It's a real good vapor. Uh, okay, so you have anything you want to add about the flavor profile? Mm -mm. I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. In, in, the, in the flavor profile, even though the, the, the Reds are stronger, but the, the obvious ones are the, the Brights. Yeah. In this one. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, what do you think about the room note? I'd say it's tolerable. This is, um, it's a typical Virginia. So you got a very tobacco heavy smell in the air. Um, I don't think it's uninviting. I don't think people are going to be offended by it or anything. Not like a lot, a lap bomb or an English or anything like that. But there's nothing sweet enough in it. To bring people in to say, oh, I want to, I want to try what he's trying. Yeah, yeah, it's a typical Virginia room note. Yeah, um, it, it's kind of, for lack of a better term, kind of tobacco-y. Yeah, there's no smokiness or anything like that. It just kind of smells mm -hmm. like a tobacco, you know, a burnt tobacco. Not like not like a cigarette tobacco, but it's just hard to describe. But there. It does linger a little bit, but there's nothing in it that just identifies itself as something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talked about the moisture level, and we felt like it didn't really need any dry time. But I wonder if maybe just a little bit of dry time might help the burn, because I, I've been needing to, to re do some relights here and there. I don't know if it's because if we have the ceiling fan going on or whatever, we're talking a lot. Yeah, we talk. Yeah, but, but I've had to do some relights. Uh, what do you think about the Nick hit on this? This one, this one is a little stronger, in my opinion. I feel it's a anywhere from a moderate up to a medium. It's just, it's one of those, and this is where the only part where I'll say it's not an all day smoke. If you're not a frequent smoker, if you're not, some, if you enjoy one to two bowls a day, I suggest sitting down. And that's, that's just it. Sit down and enjoy the smoke. If you're smoking four to five bowls a day like I do, you might be able to still function every now and then. I'm still not going to do it while I'm working. Huh. Well, that takes yeah, away from it being an all-day, everyday thing. To me, it's just a little heavier. A little heavier. Now, lunch break, yes, I'm having a bowl. In the, in the morning with my coffee before I get dressed and get ready to go and everything like that, yep, I'm having a bowl. Um... But I just, I don't, at least in the heat, at least in the summer, I think it's not something that I can enjoy through the heat of the day. But yeah. I work outside a lot. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm right there with you. I think probably this is more of a moderate than a medium, but it's somewhere in the middle there. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere in the middle. In that weird zone between the two. Yeah. Well, a couple of other things I'm noticing about this one is, is that there's really no bite or harshness mm -hmm. on, on this one. Um, it seems to, it's really pretty smooth. 
Uh, I'm not a big Virginia fan, but this, but one, this is okay. This, yeah. this is pretty good, yeah. Um, There's no gurgle or dawdle in the bowl, it seems Yeah, so and it's burning. It's pretty smooth. Uh, it burns cool and clean. Uh, it's it's a fairly slow burn because of uh, the flake form, mm-hmm. you know. Um, the flavor has been pretty consistent all the way through. Uh, there's an aftertaste. Uh, it's pretty pleasant. I like the aftertaste, yeah. Yeah, uh, and it it lingers for a little bit, but not real long. Um, there might be a touch of dampness in my bowl, um, just a little bit. I've had to do a, a few relights here and there. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, it might just be because of the flake part. It's a it. pretty easy going, and it's and it's it's not it's not really hard to smoke. It's just a pretty pleasant smoke, is what I'm getting out of this. I enjoy it. I'm 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 going to pick myself up a couple tins of this. One to age, one to smoke. Yeah, maybe more. <laughs> I, I bet this would age pretty good. I bet I bet because Red Virginias always do mature just so well. Yeah, and I can't see well, why this and one the wouldn't. sugar content in the in the brights that are in this one will help it uh, ferment a little bit, bit too. So yeah. that's that's good. Well, it comes in two ounce tins, uh, ten dollars and sixty cents per tin. So that's five dollars and thirty cents an ounce. Uh, I haven't been able to find it any other place other than smokingpipes.com. Well, it might be uh, because it's theirs. Yeah, but uh, you know, let me know if you do find this somewhere else. Now, guys, we are interested. In hearing from you uh, about your thoughts on Low Country, so what would you give it? Uh, we we're not going to give this one a rating since it's our first impressions. Yeah. Usually we like to smoke something uh, three, four, five, six times. Yeah. Before we kind of give it a rating. Well, and we'll also put some time in between it too. Yeah. But uh, my first impression on this is, hey, it's a great smoke, and it's going to lead me to looking at some of their other blends as well absolutely me too yeah because this will i think this will be one of the first low countries i've tried yeah i've not tried any of their bulk uh they this is not available in bulk but but they have others that are in bulk most of them are aromatics and then maybe i have tried one of their yeah blends. but i haven't tried any any anything else other than this one and so this might have mixed a lot of key one of their bolts. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know what you guys think. Now, don't forget, next week on the 25th, uh, Monday the 25th, we are doing a uh, tobacco tasters, and we are going to do Kramer's New Mix. So hopefully you've got yours uh, ready to go for next week. Uh, we're going to want you to share your thoughts about that one with us as well. Uh, we passed 3,000 subscribers now, so we, yeah, it's, I mean. It seems like this year we made it to two. Yeah, well, I, I don't remember exactly when we made it to two, but we're now at three, and oh, so, Lord. so it's, it's moving right along, and, and we thank you guys for thank that. Thank you that's, guys that's, so much. That's, that's all because of you, and we're appreciative that you are interested in what we think about some of these tobaccos, and, uh, again, share, share our channel with, uh, your tobacco friends, uh, so that we can grow more and we can go out and do uh, more things with our channel. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will not be at the Columbus show, but I will be at the Las Vegas show, which is in October. So hopefully you guys will look for me there. And uh, I know a lot of you guys came up and introduced yourself at the Chicago show, and that was super cool. Um, but, cool. you know, I've slept since then, so come and see me again, and let's talk. Let's share a bowl, and let's... Let's kind of uh, sit down and talk and talk about things that you might like to see on the channel. So, anyway, oh, thanks for coming by today. No problem. This was a nice one. I enjoyed. It. <coughs> yeah, this is this is a, a, a nice surprise. Yes, it is N- a nice surprise. All right, guys. Well, go out and have a great week. Don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Enjoy. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. <laughs>